When geologists first started investigating the San Juans in the 1960s, they assumed the tuff was formed over millions of years by numerous small volcanoes. Only by improvements in dating has the astonishing truth become clear. By measuring how the elements uranium and lead decay over time, it has been possible to precisely date the tuff. Now they can date a volcanic rock like this one I'm sitting on at 28.02 million years, plus or minus about 0 0.02, plus or minus about 20,000 years. To me, that's just amazing. Because the tuff is all the same age, it can mean only one thing. 28 million years ago, a spectacular eruption tore through the San Juan Mountains with more eruptive force than any other known in the history of the world. Today, the ancient 1,000 square mile volcanic crater, the caldera, is almost invisible. It's simply too big to see all at once. Everything here is only part of this gigantic caldera. We have a wonderful view, the best view that exists of the northern end of what probably is the world's largest caldera, the Lagarita Caldera. From the north rim where we are, we, we see the, in the very far distance, the snow-covered peaks are the uplifted floor of the northern third of the caldera. We're probably seeing about 12 miles of a caldera that's 50 miles across. The debris from this massive eruption coated the San Juan Mountains, increasing their volume by one-tenth and their height by about a thousand feet. Only by comparing Lagarita to more recent eruptions do we get a real sense of just how much material it hurled into the atmosphere. I was at Mount St. Helens in 1980 and imagine the deposits from Mount St. Helens being in this espresso cup. Then visualize Lagarita. Its deposits would fit in this 55-gallon oil drum, uh, 5,000 times as much as came from Mount St. Helens.